Tuesday, some of the top names in sports, entertainment, and fashion will come together to honor our fallen heroes and the loved ones they left behind at the annual Red and Blue Soiree. Here to tell us about the event is Lauren Coslow, a junior committee member of Answer the Call, the New York Police and Fire Widows and Children's Benefit Fund. Lauren, thank you for being here. No problem. All right, tell us about Answer the Call. So it was started in 1985, and it really provides financial assistance and emotional support to the families of our fallen first responders. Right, and when you talk about first responders, it's not just firefighters and police officers. No, it's also Port Authority mm -hmm. police officers mm -hmm. and EMS workers. All right. Now, this, um, you know, this isn't just about public service for you. This is a very personal story. Tell me yes. how you got involved. Um, so in 1966, when my mom was 10 years old, her father, Deputy Chief Thomas A. Riley, was killed in the line of duty. He was a firefighter. Um, and he left behind my grandma and six children. So in 1966, the benefit fund hadn't started yet, but in 1985, when it was formed, my grandma and her six kids became beneficiaries of the fund. So growing up, I was always aware that they were getting this financial assistance because once my grandma's children were old and had children of their own, she would actually take the check that she received each year and split it amongst her 16 grandchildren so that my grandpa was really always a presence in our lives, even though we didn't get the chance to meet him. And we were talking about that because you know obviously he passed away before you were born mm -hmm. but you were saying there was never a time that you didn't think of him because of the way your grandmother and this group helped you yes for sure and it was definitely he was a constant presence in our lives mm -hmm. and growing up we all would have called him our hero and you know school reports about your hero it was yeah. always my grandpa to all of us that's wonderful how does it help families of fallen heroes, other families, because it's, it's also changed. 1985, you said it was much more just financial, mm -hmm. and now they have different, you know, gatherings so yeah. families can be together. So it's really a network of support now. Mm -hmm. So there are multiple events throughout the year. The one that we're hosting on Tuesday is just one of them, but there's a gala every fall. There's a Mets game for the families to attend. So it really is a way for them to all meet each other and lean on each other for support. All right, tell us about the latest one, the Red and Blue Soiree. So the Red and Blue Soiree is taking place on Tuesday. It's an event that's planned by the Junior Committee, which I'm a member of. Um, it's going to be at the Bowery Hotel, and over 500 young professionals in the city come out for it. So it should be a great event. Why do you think it's so important that millennials become volunteers and get involved? Well, this cause, personally, to me, we're growing up post 9-11, and we that's really the first time that I think all of us realize the risks these first responders take every day. So that's why I think this cause is so important to people of our generation, but just volunteering in general. Like, we all have the time and the energy. We're young, so <laughs> it's a good thing to dedicate it to an organization that needs it. All right, now on Tuesday, you have some big names coming out. Yeah, so um, we have some of the cast members of Saturday Night Live. We have Mark Messier of the Rangers, um, so it should be just really fun. Lauren, I'm looking thank you so much for it. being here. Of really course. Thank you it. for having me. Of course. For more information on Answer the Call or the Red and Blue Soiree, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. Andrew, back to you.